Good evening, I think. We're here in a very dark, ominous, really awesome room in a random place in Kitchener right now with Marty Steele of the Almighty Shadow Cult, which is Kitchener's only gothic metal band? Oh, good question. Uh, <laughs> I'm definitely a standalone, like we're a big thrash scene. Um, I don't know, maybe. Maybe. Maybe, but not the only in the province. No. No. Thank No. <laughs> Actually, no, wait. Wouldn't Cecile Monique be gothic too? Oh, uh, sure. Yeah, yeah. She'd fall in that category. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So there we go. <laughs> Marty has returned because, well, he just texted me saying, I have some stuff I need to talk to you about. Please bring the camera. So I'm here. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> so how have you been since our last interview, which I think was in March? Yeah, it's been a, a while yeah. and lots, a lot has changed. Some stuff has stayed the same, but overall good. Uh, there's been some development in, uh, in band stuff, which is why I gave you a call. Oh. Uh, I know you keep your ear to the scene, so I'll look forward to maybe breaking some ground today and making some uh, formal announcements. <laughs> yeah. Excellent. Now, well, last time we talked, you were just releasing mm -hmm. the self-titled release mm -hmm. now because I, I can't math right now <laughs> so march to november that's april may yeah may goes after april right? yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> june, july. april may june july august september october november we've got eight, eight months eight months Wow, yep. eight months yep. since your debut release yep. what has been the f feedback for that said album Oh, that's a good, a good, uh, good question because that's really well what I care about uh, <laughs> is getting that, getting that feedback. And overall, it's been positive. I had a good rush right at the beginning of a lot of people supporting me, and then a second wave of of strangers and different responses um, from various countries around the world, which is great. A lot of people in our, our local community, GTA. Uh, but then uh, we had some album orders from uh, Portugal and Greece and 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 just randoms uh, randoms internationally. So it's really cool to see that and comments coming in that it's people are really enjoying it, that it's something something new that they haven't heard before, and uh, they're just overall enjoying the enjoying the concept of the project. Portugal, that, that's pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm poor Portuguese, so that's really cool yeah. hearing that, that my fellow countrymen, well, dang, it makes sense because of Moonspell. <laughs> yeah, sure. yeah, 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 absolutely. But no, the one comment I've seen out of all of these made a man cry. I'm talking about Tom McKay from the yeah. Metal Robot Reviews. Yeah, <laughs> As he, I feel, gave the ultimate compliment about this album over his 10-second purge. What was that like just to see a reviewer like him from the Hamilton area praise your album like it was the best thing to come from this country. Uh, well, it's, it's extremely validating for sure. Um, I do this for myself foremost. I think all artists have to because you're doing it for other people. You're going to get mixed results regardless. But when reviews come like that and it was uh, short and sweet and considering the lineup of who he's reviewing and, and, and uh, just just Tom's Tom's knowledge of metal and, and, and that, I was uh, extremely flattered. And, and really, the, it's those kind of things that stay in the back of my mind and on tough days and, and, and keep me going. So very flattered, Tom. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Now, I do have to ask this. Now, back in March, there wasn't really a band of Shadow Call. It was just you. That's right. And Greg, who you asked to do the drumming. Mm -hmm. Has is there now a band of called Shadow Call or is it still just your your child? Mm -hmm. So I've been lucky enough to round up some musicians um, in a little bit of a down uh, in our COVID, uh, when our COVID numbers went down, we got together and actually my first choice of musicians as I asked around for people wanting to be the project over the, this past year, uh, all my first choices answered yes. We all got together and uh, we kind of made a, a group pack to keep a bit of secrecy around the project just because we don't know when an actual performance is happening. Mm -hmm. uh, but it, like I said, it's my first choice. Bands that uh, are, are guys from bands that are local, really, really talented musicians. Uh, I will say that Greg is a part of the project. Um, Greg, uh, uh, who of course did our, uh, did the progression for the album and uh, plays with uh, Apoc and Stolos, uh, he remains a part of the project and he's... Uh, Probably the only name I'm going to divulge today, but we have an official confirmed lineup and we are working on a stage show uh, when and if we can do that. <laughs> that is awesome. And Greg, seriously, how many bands are you going to be part of by the end of this year? <laughs> you announced another band. Now you're part <laughs> of It's like he's in everything. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much. But I'm happy to see, say that uh, well, Greg really responded well to the music. We really jived in, on a personal level. And uh, yeah, I'm really, I, I'm really honored to have Greg as part of the project. No, of course, I think it's a great fit. I think he did well 
for his part on the album and i can't wait to see look coming forward what's next mm-hmm. and to follow up with that mm-hmm. how, because of covid mm-hmm. and you know being in this i gotta say a kick-ass lair Thank you, yes. you're well it's oh, amazing has there been a lot of inspiration happening to maybe create the next shadow cult release yeah, absolutely. Uh, being more isolated uh, has given me opportunity to stay focused more inward and get writing and get the creative process going. Uh, and I actually got something started that I didn't expect, uh, which is uh, one of the things that I want to talk about today. Uh, we're writing a second metal album, that's for sure. That's coming. Uh, big time, that's coming. Uh, but in the meantime, we are writing something more chill, and that's going to be a Soundscapes album. Uh, you might have noticed on our social media and stuff, we've been posting stuff, uh, music that's just been more relaxing, more uh, cinematic, but on the lower scale uh, as far as just ambient. And I've been getting tremendous uh, response from that of people just loving it in, in a really you know challenging time and a really stressful time, having music to just mellow out to or get you know the creative juices flowing. Uh, so I decided to make a full-scale album through Shadow Cult uh, that uh, right now is called Soundscapes. That's going to have a Norse influence, and uh, but overall just be super mellow and and ambient and, and something uh, quite different from our original release. Awesome. Now, for those people that aren't too sure what Soundscape is, would you mind just explaining it to them? Yeah, absolutely, because it's been hard, uh, hard to define on, on what I'm doing. A Soundscape, really what I'm going for is an overall ambient... Uh, more relaxed, like more subtle melodies, more, uh, let's say, a, a sound just to fill uh, fill your kind of emotional need for music, but not to take your mentally, uh, like I'm, I'm listening to the melody, I'm singing along with the words. It's more like study music, or if you're getting stuff down around the house, or for myself, when I just need a creative kind of, cre- get the creative juices flowing, I'm throwing on alb- ambient albums I'm hearing online, or like, like I, I like search up like Viking, uh, you know, tavern music, Skyrim, you know, uh, Assassin's Creed, those kind of things. Okay. So I just wanted to make something like that for myself. So here we are. <laughs> awesome. That that is amazing. So for you, did it just start out as just writing a song and then turn into this now album? Or was it something you always kind of deep down want to do and now was the time to finally do it? Uh, it's something I pretty much do on my own all the time, just not necessarily formally. Mm-hmm. Um, and this, honestly, uh, if you asked me a year ago, this is more my retirement plan of getting and going into the more more chill out, uh, uh, chill out music, uh, just because it's like you know less impact than you know mm-hmm. getting into the circle pit and uh, and ripping it up. So uh, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna use my youth uh, youth effectively. But right now, like I said, people are are stressing. It's we're in a stressful time. Um, so if we, we can do both, if I can be cranking the metal and, and doing the shred, but also having some some more chill out stuff coming from the same like creative creative space then i think that could be that could be really cool for for all my listeners awesome now is there an eta to when this said release might be hitting Bandcamp, airwaves you know mm-hmm. uh, our goal right now is christmas uh, no oh. formal let's say date because there's a couple of things that are going to be uh coming out along with this is just as far as uh, um, just structuring and, and uh, investing a little bit uh, in, uh, in our online presence. So there's a few things uh, that are in the works that I don't uh, foreshadow too much yet, but uh, things will culminate about Christmas time and you should have uh, maybe a gift or something to send, uh, send out if you're looking for, uh, for new music. Awesome. I am definitely looking forward to, to hearing something different. Hopefully, I don't know what to say. Sure, yeah. <laughs> I'm I'm still not used to hearing a metal band do something like that. I think mm-hmm. it's very cool and very different, and I definitely look forward to hearing it from you because after Shadow Cult's self-titled release, I'm very interested to see where Shadow Cult goes from from there on. And this mm-hmm. soundscape, by what you're telling me, mm-hmm. sounds very good, and I can't wait to hear what the f- first track, I guess, off of it. Mm-hmm. Yep. Well, there's going to be, yeah, it's going to be like, as far as like lengthwise, it's going to be almost a full, full album. Okay. The songs are ending up or the, the, the tracks are ending up being just longer in general because they're more ambient. It takes more time to develop. So yeah. it's going to be fewer tracks, but a lot, a long run time just to let play. And, and uh, we'll be doing a digital, dig, digital release and things. So you can grab a, a copy to get on your own device or mm-hmm. streaming uh, and things like that. So uh, it will be, it will be out there for, uh, you know, staying chiller on the holidays and onward as we, <laughs> <laughs> get through our, our, our crazy times 
Yeah, of course. Now, for you, is it going to be harder for you to kind of try and see if it is able to perform these songs live and in person? Uh, well, if you're referring to the soundscape stuff, I, my intention is not to perform this. Um, it's it's myself doing it uh, on my own as well. It's not uh, I'm not getting together with the other guys and at, at asking them to contribute. This is something that I'm doing kind of solo with the project. But in the meantime, we're talking as a group and coming up with ideas for our live show. So that is a big hurry up and wait that when that that when the gates open and we're allowed to go for shows again, uh, we're gonna hit the ground running. We're gonna be we're gonna be ready to go. So even though we're not physically meeting, we're all uh, in in group chat and onwards discussing the project and how and form formulating it so that we're like I said, we're ready to rock when it's when we can. Awesome. Now for, I forget if I asked you this, but I do want to ask this now for you. When it comes to gothic metal, who is your biggest inspiration? Uh, yeah, that's a good that's a good question. Um, my biggest uh, listening and listening habits right now that are pushing me into that gothic gothic era uh, are, are Insomnium and uh, Demu Borgir. I don't know necessarily if if that's uh, if gothic goes along with that. We have a metal, we have a darkness, but those are the people that are pushing me into that kind of symphonic, dark, uh, candelabra kind of uh, kind of area. Uh, but I find myself uh, trying not to listen to the same genre that I'm trying to write because uh, a couple of things happen. One, I hear Insomnium doing it amazingly and just want to quit. Or two, <laughs> I just keep on making the same riffs that I'm almost hearing. So a lot of times in my creative process, when I'm getting into it, which is now getting into thinking about the second album and formulating the the kind of the the movie and the and the, the story and you know mental 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 uh, tale that's going to going to unfold, I almost have to separate myself from anything that's similar, uh, so that it can just be uniquely my thoughts, uniquely my my story. Yeah, so that's my process. <laughs> awesome. Now, because I am curious about the next next album, I yeah, guess. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a rough ETA to when Shadow Cult fans might expect this said next cinematic gothic symphonic metal mm -hmm. album uh, that thing? One. <laughs> uh, that one I cannot give you a timeline for. Um, uh, it's definitely something that I'm not going to rush, um, and uh, yeah, as it as it unfolds, um, I kind of know what feels right and what doesn't, and um, I'm investing a lot of time into it. But it's gonna uh, that that one I don't know if I can call a time frame for because I'm gonna let it really organically unfold and 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 develop as time goes on. So I don't know. Ask me in our next interview, and I'll tell you. <laughs> oh, there's gonna be a third one. Okay, you got it. <laughs> but no, Marty. Um, besides, is there anything else? that Shadow Cult is just dying to announce? Uh, yes, but not today. Okay. <laughs> like I said, uh, around Christmas time, uh, it's going to be not just a, not just the album release. There's going to be a bit of extra kind of coming around it and uh, things for people to enjoy, things for people to kind of interact with a little bit more. Um, there's a lot going on behind the behind the scenes right now. And as the album is, is released, there's a few things that will come, uh, come out along with it that you can uh, anticipate. Okay, I'm very much looking forward to it and maybe wearing it, question mark. Uh, question mark. <laughs> question mark. Question mark. Exclamation point? Confused? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> question mark, exclamation point. Correct. <laughs> I don't know. I can't English today, I guess. <laughs> but no, Marty, last time we did ask you the infamous poser question. Mm -hmm. Sadly, we don't have enough questions. <laughs> because the usual question that we switch out for is... Mm -hmm. If the band was to come out with an alcoholic beverage, what kind of beverage would it be and what the name is? Now, I know you're not a big alcoholic person, right, yeah. so I will not ask you that because yeah. I don't think that'd be right to ask. Yeah, yeah. fair enough. But yeah. you know what? The beverage world is a big world. Mm -hmm. uh, I like iced tea. I like coffee. So like maybe like a Shadow Cult dark iced coffee blend. Oh, okay. And then you can have an alcoholic option for, uh, for the people who like to indulge. Okay. You know, a little Bailey's influence, so you know. Oh, there you go. A, cr a creamer to go with the coffee. Got it. So that would be the Shadow Cult blend. <laughs> Shadow Master. Wait, isn't that a song? No. Oh, God. Did I? No, wait, that's a song off the album, right? Shadow Master? Or did I say that wrong? No. Not my album. <laughs> no, not your album. <laughs> Shit. Sorry. <laughs> I thought I did my research. God damn it. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Okay, I am so sorry, Marty. I I don't know where my head went. It was just like, yeah, shell 
now Susan's yeah. song of it. Right? You're giving me ideas for the next album. It's good. Oh, yeah. yes. Yeah, you can take it. You can take it. I give you full copyright over it. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> but Marty, thank you so much for your time. Is there anything else you want to get out of the way before we do end this interview and for the people at home to know, I guess? Well, as always, thank you so much for the support. It means a lot to me. I'm getting ongoing feedback. Everything that you're reaching out or just simply liking or commenting on it means a lot. It really does keep me going. Uh, for those of you that purchased a copy of our album, I really appreciate it. Uh, for those of you maybe on the fence about it, it's still available on Bandcamp uh, on CD and digital download, so check it out. And then like we talked about in December, uh, some more music coming your way. And then for Thrasher's Paradise, of course, thanks for having me on. Uh, these guys are keeping the spirit of metal alive, so uh, myself and other metal musicians and community are very thankful for uh, what you guys are doing. You're welcome, Marty. Anytime you know the more, you, if I can English, yeah. <laughs> you know you're more than welcome back on the show whenever you want. Just shoot us a message, and we'll get you back on, and we'll figure it out, and you can speak your mind about anything. Cheers, brother. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. And until next time, viewers, thrashers, other people watching this for the first time, going, "Hey, this channel's all right." <laughs> Keep on thrashing. <laughs>